I started playing the Horse Ranch expansion pack. This is my sim. His name is Hank Welcher. I got that last name from Welch's, like the grape juice. With nectar making being introduced, I thought it was funny at the time. It's probably not. The majority of his outfits come from the Horse Ranch expansion pack, as do two of his three traits, the rancher and horse lover traits. I also gave him the active trait. Hank also has the brand new championship rider aspiration. I used the breed mixer to create his horse and I mixed an Arabian and a Clydesdale. Can you do that in real life? I don't know, but this is The Sims, so why not? Her name is Bucket, and she has the traits Brave, Friendly, and Intelligent. And I don't just have the Horse Ranch expansion pack, I have all of the packs. And one of the things I intend to do here is utilize several packs and explore cross-pack functionality. So I gave Hank a Saint Bernard named Bernie, and I made him loyal, a glutton, and a couch potato. After choosing saddles and collars, I moved this family to Chestnut Ridge, the new world that comes with the Horse Ranch expansion pack. And I went for this starter house that's in the top left corner of the map called Palomino Junction. It's a cute house. It matches its environment well. It has everything I need for the horse. I did have to buy a few things for Bernie, like a food bowl and a toy box. But otherwise, the house has everything Hank needs. Now, let me point out, I am playing in a save file, the same save file that I started the Not So Berry Challenge in. I've used the same save file in the past as well. It's available to download for free on my Patreon page. I I have not made any changes to Chestnut Ridge in that save file. It predates the Horse Ranch expansion pack, so Chestnut Ridge and its inhabitants are unchanged. But we might encounter sims from other worlds that you might recognize from my other videos. One of the first things that happened is Bernie and Bucket had a really cute interaction together, where the animals reacted to each other. Hank gave attention to his animals and tended to their needs before deciding to make himself some mac and cheese. He has absolutely no cooking skill. This is his first time. I probably should be letting him use the stove. I should probably make him make a salad, but I decided to let him do it, and surprisingly, he did not set his house on fire. Good job, Hank. After stuffing his face full of mac and cheese, Hank decided to go and practice jumping with Bucket. Bernie followed and supervised and eventually fell asleep, so I thought this is a good time to have Hank and Bucket go explore the neighborhood. And Bernie woke up and followed them. We met a sim named Umber Grove, who we spoke to briefly before he just abruptly walked away. Rude. And then Hank discovered he could talk to Bucket about time travel? What does this mean? Time travel pack when? Upon returning home, there was a visitor on Hank's doorstep. Jacob Lyle has dropped by to introduce himself. Some of you might recognize him from a previous series on my channel. He's a bit of a city slicker for Hank, but seeing as he was kind enough to drop by and say hi, Hank returns that kindness with some hospitality. They did their best Lord of the Dance impressions, after which Hank sent Jacob home for making it weird. Next, Hank took Bernie for a jog around the neighborhood. He's an athletic sim and he likes to keep his fitness up. I should also probably point out it's a holiday in game. It's the big game today. I suppose talking to Jacob on our home lot counted as invite guests, but I don't know how Hank is going to watch sports TV. He doesn't own a TV and I don't plan on buying him one. After his jog, Hank went home, took care of his needs, and spent some quality time with Bucket. I had him make a garden salad for dinner, but he kept stopping, and I had to keep telling him to resume making the garden salad. Eventually, we got through it, and he ate dinner, but that was weird, right? The next morning, I checked if there were any new careers that came with this expansion pack, and was sad to discover there aren't. Whatever, we'll just have to make money some other way. While Hank was making breakfast, I noticed that Bucket's fun was really poor, so I bought a ball, and Bucket immediately walked over to it and started playing with it and a lot of people were quick to defend the way the horses hold the ball and how it looks really weird people were telling me that horses do that in real life okay i get it but what is this what is this with the horse falling over the ball do horses do that too in real life let me know after seeing that i had to get out of there so hank went to the local bar there we met juniper grove who at first seemed like she was in a really flirty mood but when we tried to flirt with her it went really badly and then i got a notification from Roberto Crinkletop. Now, I already know who Roberto is because prior to playing as Hank here, I explored this expansion pack by playing a bunch of pre-made households on my own. 
So I already know about Roberto from doing that, and he has some really interesting lore. So immediately, I had Hank try to talk to him, but he was on the other end of the map, and it took him all day to walk to the bar. I didn't have any nectar to sell him. In fact, nectar making isn't really going to be Hank's thing. I think I want him to marry a nectar maker. We'll see what happens. I did notice that Roberto is wearing a wedding ring. I was also able to ask him about the secret to his longevity, but his response was basically that he didn't know me well enough to talk to me about that. Eventually, a bunch of other sims injected themselves into the conversation, and Roberto saw himself out. Hank tried stopping him and asking him for a dancing lesson, and apparently they decided to have that dancing lesson over Zoom. After that, I tried to enroll Bucket into agility training, but I never saw it pop up into my queue, so I kept doing it. What I failed to realize was that I was filling up Bucket's queue. And so Bucket attended three classes in a row. My bad, that's on me. During that time, Hank talked to Sienna Grove, and the two really hit it off. They even had their first kiss. Did all of this happen because Sienna's really that into Hank? Or was she just contractually obligated to stand in that spot until 7 p.m.? Maybe it's a little bit of both. Either way, Hank has a love interest. When Bucket was finished with her training, Hank returned home, getting bucked off on the way. Hank paid the bills and fed the animals and took care of his own needs before taking Bernie on another job jog around the neighborhood in his cute little helmet. This outfit was intended for riding, but if he wants to wear it to jog in, it's fine. And that's where I'm stopping for now. I know there's still a lot to explore with this expansion pack, such as nectar making and ranching with the miniature goats and sheep. I plan on having cows and chickens and llamas and ranch hand as well, but we're going to do a slow burn with this expansion pack and spread it out over a series. I really want to take my time with it and enjoy it as a player, so I don't want to cram everything into one video, so this is going to be a new series? Is this series going to be a few episodes or a few generations? I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.